Hey everybody, I am back at your request. We're going to take a look at his energies. We're going to look at this love life and the energies around him to come. Um, overall, I felt like he had just made his first checkpoint. The first checkpoint was um, saying yes. That's how it feels. Like he got this blank canvas. He just started his spiritual journey just started his passion just started the search for it um and i feel like i keep hearing that he wanted to be a teacher he wanted to be a teacher he wants to be a teacher i keep hearing that every time i talk but um i feels like he has this blank canvas and he just really got started with his spiritual journey and he only made one checkpoint that's how it feels one checkpoint i also see him being um aggressive in relationships i just seen him um looks like he was hitting someone it looks like he was um being violent towards someone that's how that just felt so sometimes those things pop out um that's on the surface. So this this is he's really new, if that makes sense. He's just getting started. Um he just hit one checkpoint by saying yes to putting an action into something. Um I don't feel like he is working hard. I feel like he knows how to play on the hearts of others to get inside of different opportunities. It's kind of like a pity. It feels like pity. Like he knows what to say. He knows how to complain. He knows how to whine. He knows how to create this emotional feeling so that he can get the attention that he wants. So this is not about effort right now. This is about playing on the hearts of others. I'm not saying that he's doing this in a negative way, but he do play on the hearts of others. That's what he do. So that's one thing that I noticed. But once again, he's in the beginning. So a lot, he got a lot to see, a lot to do, a lot to touch, a lot of things coming to um, to pass for him. But I do feel this aggressive, aggressive, violent type feeling. I do feel something like that, but it's in relationships. I feel it over there and I feel this whining and complaining inside of um outside of relationships so that's something that needed to get off of me but other than that sky's the limit just getting started um so as far as these energies that i'm seeing right here um it's just not quite there yet not as stable as he want to be he hasn't made the money that he wants to make he's not as grounded as he would like to be and that makes him lose his passion. It's almost like he has this, um, he doesn't have patience to wait. Very impatient. He wants it all right now. He also could be having trouble with Virgo in business. It's definitely something about business he does not like. But he's very impatient. He wants his um, earnings and, 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 um, he won it all now. I thought about the prodigal son. That's why I took a break, but this makes me feel like the prodigal son. He wants his stuff now. He wants his blessings. Now he wants his trophies. Now he's acting as if he has a short life, like he, need to get it right now he doesn't have that longevity thought in him he doesn't have that patience and that tolerance um for the things that he sees and he doesn't look inward he's looking outward right now this is a really immature spirit right here uh immature energies wanting everything right now like whatever is old to him he prefer to have it right now like I say, he could be having difficulties with this Virgo right here as well. 
yeah, definitely frustrated with wanting everything now. He want to hopscotch across that canvas and get to the good part. Yeah, he definitely want to do that. Um, yeah, he want what God has for him right now. He's definitely seemed to be um, spiritual. He, I, I, he, I mean, I feel like he prays. I feel like he's religious in some kind of way. He goes in a lot. He's has a big imagination. And that's the stuff that he wants to make a reality. He has a hard time connecting to waiting. He doesn't understand why we got to wait. Very impatient. If he doesn't get what he wants, he walks away quickly to get to where he wants to go to. So a lot of these lessons is going to be repeated. He hasn't repeated a pattern yet, but it looks like that he will. Okay, so he's pretty much feeling unbalanced in life. He's losing his passion because he can't get what he wants right now. He is um, he doesn't have a lot of tolerance and a lot of patience. Um, the clock. The time, the watch, it sucks to him. He doesn't like that. Um, he keeps looking within and he has this imagination. He um, believes in God. He believes that there's a higher power and he wants what he wants now. He wants his offers. He wants his life to be decided today. He doesn't want to form this life. He wants it to exist now. Um, if he make a connection to something and if it doesn't go his way or if it doesn't have purpose, if it's not, it's not the right amount of money, he's moving on quickly to the next thing. He's trying to go after what he wants, but it seems like he doesn't want to experience what he needs. And I don't think that he knows that. I don't think that he know that he is missing learning opportunities I don't think that he understands that he is walking away from the things that he needs. I see him walking away from people in life. It just looks like he walks away. He's a runner. He runs. He turns his back on things. And that's that's this thing that is about to start. He's about to start this repeated pattern of... Um, Start in a situation seeking a certain opportunity. Um, and when he feels uncomfortable, when he feels judged, when he feels like things is not moving forward, when he doesn't see the accomplishments, when he doesn't see things get great, he calls that a devil and he bags out. And when he bags out, he releases everything. This is kind of like the temper tantrum. He's walking away from opportunities, people and things when he can't take it anymore. But he calls it or them the problem and he releases himself from it. He turns his back and at the same time, he put restrictions on his soul. It's like putting restrictions on his spirit. It's like you needed that. Your spirit needed the things that you walk away from. Yeah, this is definitely when they say he's smelling himself. He got the big head. He think he know it all. That's how this feel. He has a hard time explaining himself, communicating himself. If he doesn't get what he want and what he feels he deserve, which I believe he do. I, I think that he's right about what he should have. I think he got the right sense of it. But he doesn't want to go through the learning lesson to receive it. Every time we accept a treasure, a blessing, every time we put about to touch something great, you have to have a learning lesson connected to it or you'll lose it. So that's probably why he walks away a lot. This is the way he, the way these energies are set up around him. He can touch great things and lose it constantly, constantly, constantly because he doesn't have the spiritual training to keep it. 
And so that might be an issue for him. So this is the kind of guy that can get a car, lose a car, get a girl, lose a girl, get a get a um, nice business offer and lose the offer. All because he wants the back end to be now. Yeah, something about that. And people have taken chances on him. And I don't think he really understands how much of a liability he is. I don't know what that means. But it feels like people really took a chance on him. And he doesn't understand that um, he has been helped. I believe that he feels that he earns things when really he was just given it. Someone gave it to him. So he didn't got a lot of passes. And he wants the big reward right now. This is all learning lessons. This is real fresh right here. So these are things that wouldn't stay the same. Um, definitely have a great uh, relationship. Um, a religion. I keep hearing religion. He definitely has that. And he definitely walks away from things when it's not giving him what he wants. I do believe in what he wants. But if it doesn't connect with him, if it's an issue, if it's hard, if it's any type of long suffering, he's going to walk away from it. When it comes to relationships, I see some of the same type behavior. But then when I get here, uh, I feel more of a aggression in this area. When I was doing the life messages for him, I felt the whiny, complaining, like, man, give it to me. Or, you know, I can do it. Y'all don't never give me a chance. It's like you're pleading a case on that side. and um, But over here, it kind of feels like more of a, um, I just heard Leo, more of a Leo type spirit. I wouldn't be surprised if he's dealt with a Leo before. Um, so that's very possible. But this is the area where he needs the most control because this is where he's the most vulnerable. Uh, it's very possible that he could have been hurt and betrayed by a cancer. I feel that very, very strong. This is not the type of person that's looking for a relationship right now because there's so much distrust and um, frustration around love. He can't figure that love out. He doesn't have control in that love area. He has no plans to have uh, a family and, and, and relationship right now. He's not looking for love that comes with commitment. He's not looking for that. Um, but he does love conversation, communication. He loves for people to hear his story. He is a storyteller. He loves to tell um, about the hard things that he's been through. This is the kind of guy that got four women around him as he talk about his parents, as he talk about his way up, as he talk about being unfairly treated. He is a soul. His soulmate is probably an air sign. Um, I don't see any strong connections with him so far, but I can feel an air sign around him or an air sign to come. That would definitely be a great connector right here. Um, based on the energies around him right now. He loves air energy. He loves intelligence. He loves to learn. He loves to hear. He loves for people to um, engage in him. He's a storyteller. I keep hearing that as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's a talker. He likes to talk in relationships. Um, he may got an air sign that is around him or that's coming around him. I feel this air sign very strongly. Um, this is not about love for him. This is this is about a great guy, a nice guy that likes women to hear his stories and to hear how he was treated well or wasn't treated well. He loves to um, he loves to feel appreciated, but. I don't think no one has ever captured his heart. I don't think he had a spiritual connection to anyone. And I see some hurt and pain here with Cancer and Sagittarius. Hurt and pain right there. I see some roughness in love. I see some roughness in a relationship. Like it got really bad. I feel like these women, this fireside... 
and um well fire sign sagittarius a cancer i feel like they had to actually escape him or run away from him because that's how um uncomfortable their relationship got because he always need more he needs more 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 very needy he needs to feel he needs to feel great of course he needs to feel appreciated and acknowledged he needs to he wants to feel worship in some kind of way this is the kind of guy that wants his back rubbed his his head rubbed he wants you to hold his hand you, you want to be worship type feeling I just saw coming to America uh coming to America when the ladies were um putting the flowers down this is the kind of guy right here this is that kind of energy so going forward I do see an air sign coming look out for that air sign y'all it feels very heavy um, when that air sign come or if the air sign has passed him, they got a very big impact in his life. It changes him. It takes him to the next checkpoint in life. That's for sure. So um, going forward, I see him working hard and his working hard is basically networking, talking to a lot of people. He's writing right now as we speak. He's writing and writing. He's telling his stories. He's telling other people's stories. Um, I don't feel like he had a bad life. I usually will feel some type of childhood big issue. I don't feel anything big. I did I did see him rising up to a authority, but it felt kind of normal uh, for a young person. Um, rising up and being rebellious and uh, trying to take leadership. I felt him becoming a man, but I didn't feel a lot of bad energies around his childhood at all. Uh, same, well, who am I? But it just, I didn't feel anything that changed his spirit that would shift his journey. I just felt like he chose to be greater earlier, whatever that thing is. You have to remember, this is a, this is a baby. This is a newborn that came out at five years old. And at five, he was 10. And at 10, he's 20. And 20, he'll be 35. He's like seven to 10 years his desires are so ahead of who he is. So when I saw the rebellion, that didn't shock me as much because this is a person with no tolerance. This is a person with no patience. They want it now. He's so far ahead of himself. So he's writing right now. He uh, hopes that the people understand what he's writing he hopes that the people, this is the kind of person like, no, nah, you don't understand. No, nah, you don't understand. And so he's writing right now and hopes that the people will understand um, the message that's going forth. Um, why do I feel like he has, it is something about him. Like even with this writing, he's writing right now, writing music, writing something, but he's already speaking over it about people not understanding it. Maybe he's talking about his team. Maybe he's talking about business wise. Nobody will understand it. So he's heavy burden about the outcome as he writes today. Uh, oh, wow. That's too much. That's too much. But this is not... Um, Shocking for water signs, to be honest. But this is kind of like how they work. Yeah, so he got a project. He got something that he's writing. And he's already saying that it ain't going to go real. It ain't going to go right. They're not going to understand. It's not going to be accepted. They're not going to understand the value in it. He's going to take action and jump out there and do it. All for that type of energy. And it's going to flop. It's not going to work. And it's because of this energy around him. Um, there's something about this. I feel like he moves too quick on the next project. The next thing that he's working on. He moves too quick on it. I don't have it um, coming out successful. And maybe it's because it's connected to those same people that he worked with before. But that's the reason why this project doesn't work well. <clears throat> Number one, the energy around it is already doom and gloom. And 
it's connected to something that he's done before. Yeah. I don't see him being successful in this music. I don't see that. I know sometimes we get that hot new artist and they they seem like they about to go to the top of the world, but you don't understand the maturity that it takes to to get there and all the ins and outs, all the compromise and negotiation that has to be done to get there. I don't have him being successful in music. I really don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. He works in a burden. He actually writes his stuff too. He really do. He's very serious about his um his writing. Takes that very serious. But he always second guess what he do and believe that people won't get it. But let me just see something. I don't think that I just hear him being a teacher of some sort. It's something about this don't feel right. Maybe he wrote for other people. Yeah, see, I don't see him being successful in music. I'm telling you. I don't see him being successful in music. No. You got to find something else. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. And this is Chef. Yeah. Yeah. So, keep your eye on them. When it comes to love, I definitely see an air sign that's going to come in and make some, um, help them with some healing, help them with some learning and growth. See a strong connection right there with him and air. And when it comes to his life messages, this is just what he's going to do. He's going to hopscotch around. If, if you all not making him feel great, if you all not listening to him and giving him the things that he desire, uh, then he'll walk away and go to something better. He don't have time to waste. But that's the amazing part. He, I just keep feeling like this person doesn't have time to waste. Like he, it makes me feel like he knows that he's not going to be here long. And I know we, we all know that in some type of perspective, but he makes me feel like he's about to be out of here in like seven to 10 years. That's how he makes me feel. And he has this walk about him. Like, I don't have long to be here. I need everything right now. Um, yeah. So that if that love, um, that love area, no commitment there, no relationships there. Um, I feel some hurt and pain from two women in the past, two girls in the past. This could be some things in elementary school, probably. I see a Cancer or Sagittarius that um, scorn him in some kind of way. He feels scorn in that. Um, he looks like he's around groups of girls more than one-on-ones. And um, he loved to to be the storyteller, to tell him about his hard times and pity. So he need people that gets off on a good story. Um, air sign in the background and a drop in a backdrop. That connection feel like it's like they're coming closer together. I wouldn't be surprised if he is looking at this person now or about to walk past this person. It's big, strong connection when it comes to career um, business. Uh, I don't see anything uh, prospering. No, not not for the longevity. I don't see it. Yeah, so we can always come back, but as of right now, it's I don't it don't look too good on that side of town. And I keep hearing teacher, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you see him leading in a knowledge type of way. Um, he's definitely a storyteller, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see him getting into some type of, um, I just saw, uh, I'm going to try to hear his name again. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets connected to some type of movement, some type of movement, maybe some type of, um, 
I don't know, um, a religious movement. I would not be surprised if you see him over there. I wouldn't be surprised if he's teaching principles and trying to get other men like him to be a part of this movement, a part of this religious sect in some kind of way, or a part of a new thought or new identity, new idea, or a discovery of themselves. I see him teaching and enlightening people or trying to get people to wake up about something. I would not be surprised if he get latched on to one of these religious leaders or um, activists and um, become merged up with a thought and then begin to start trying to teach that thought to others. Just want to say that because he's very naked right now. He could easily be attached to anything. I mean, he's like very, very naked in his spirit. So um, he, he got a lot of innocence still on him. So I wouldn't be shocked if I see that, you all. Okay, bye-bye.